today I'm going to be doing the foil curl. So basically, this is what we're going to be doing. As you can see, I have finished this side of my hair, so we're just going to do it on this side. So all you're going to be needing are foils, so I'm going to teach you how to cut them and stuff. And then we're going to be using a spray bottle of water. This is just water. A lot of you have been asking, well, like, what's that? This is just water. And the bobby pins are absolutely optional. So I actually use bobby pins for my hair because it can't hold. My hair is too long and heavy. So if your hair is medium length or your hair is short, then you can just get away with just using the foil alone. Okay, so what you're going to be doing is you're just take this and then approximately this long cut it and then I'm gonna cut this in between so now you'll have these going on Now there's two ways that you can do this, but so this is the first one. Of course, as usual, dampen your hair, put your ends in the foil, and then like that, and then close it. Just like that. So to rest assured that your ends won't pop out. And then, of course, begin rolling it up. Now once you get here, just simply close that both ends of the foil and then, since the foil can't really hold my hair, so I have to use bobby pin to secure that in place and there you go. The second one is take the foil and then just roll it. You're gonna have like this. All you have to do, as usual, dampen it, especially the tips of your hair. I think I'm gonna grab a bit more of the hair there. And then, as usual, the typical way to do this is to just roll your hair on the foil. Especially your tips. Okay, so I'm gonna continue and do this all over my head and I will be right back. Okay, so I am done and my hair looks like this. I will leave this on until tomorrow. I'm, so I'm just basically gonna sleep on this. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, so hello everyone. So now I'm just going to remove it. I actually find this technique that this actually works better with medium to medium length hair to short hair. But let's see how it goes with my long hair. Oh. But so that's what it looks like right now.
Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. Just gonna remove it on the other side and it'll be right back. like the the curls they're not too tight they're kind of it's just same as of my method straw curls method one and five but this is more more of the not so tight version ah, actually, I actually like the the results I thought it would be kind of like a wimpy curl on my hair but um, did a pretty good job I, and I actually like it so so we have been asking like okay those curls are kind of the same so what is the difference the difference is it's because I'm showing you different methods. So the results might kind of be as the same of my no heat curls on some of my no heat curls, but so I'm just showing you um, different methods because I know that some of you don't have straws. So these are several options that if that method didn't work for you, there's always another method as a substitute for that. So pick one that works for you and easier for you and just do it. I hope you guys like this. Bye-bye.